All right. <laughs> Yo, um, this is like before the video, maybe after the video. Um, but so what's going to happen is it's like I'm going to make a playlist because I completely I completely forgot to make this playlist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a playlist like everything that I said about like Tariq and um, everything. Right. Like that's just a playlist in general. Jesus, I need sleep. So I'm going to make a playlist. Right. And I guess you could say this probably might be like the last part of it. But this is going to be for like the newer viewers who, you know, is coming into power and doesn't like fully understand too much of the context of like Tariq's story and backstory. Because I've been seeing some comments about like, oh, like what, what happened there? Who's ghost? Blah, blah, blah. So this is just going to be that. This is just going to wrap up everything. And uh, yeah, Whew, I need sleep. But onward to the video. <laughs> Put the gun down. No. Tariq, if you do this shit, you can never go back. You never did. You would have realized that I am the bad spot. I killed my own father to protect my mother. This shit to me. You gonna take the weight for all that shit. Ramirez, the professor, all that shit is gonna be on your fucking ass. What do we do now? Man, I don't know. I think we just started a fucking war, though. <sighs> All right, y'all. Y'all already know what the deal is. Y'all already know what time it is. Happy Father's Day. That's what time it is for all the fathers that's out there and, you know, taking care of their sons, their daughters. You know, happy Father's Day, right? Now, boys, we're going to get right into it. Now, I did make, like, my whole videos about, like, Tariq on him even surpassing Ghost and he will really surpass Ghost. Today's video is going to be me explaining just a little bit more into, like, Tariq's story and that he's still missing some key details and personal growth in order for him to, like, really make some really big changes in his life because we don't know when we're going to get like the next season of Raising Canaan either may or may not be in the summertime or might be on Christmas right we don't know when but in the series of Raising Canaan we're still missing Ghost and we're still missing Breeze right we're still missing all of them and potentially Tasha as well because the story of Ghost is still not finished and we, we're we still missing like some key elements to his story to like fully understand who James St. Patrick is so it's like when you go back to Tariq, it was literally the same way with him and Tasha when they were sitting on the bench and they was talking. And see, the thing is, it's like with Tariq, he's he was always been misguided by both Tasha and Kanan because it was led to believe he was led to believe that Ghost wasn't really smart. It was really Tasha that held everything down and he never really knew anything like to in Tariq's eyes. Ghost was stupid. He was just a liar and a cheater and a manipulator. That's all that he ever saw Ghost to be. But there's still some key elements that he's still missing for him to like fully understand his story, which I'm kind of hoping that Tasha, I'm kind of hoping that Tasha and Tommy fully explained some backstory to Tariq. Because in case we don't really get to see uh, James St. Patrick and Raising Cannon, which I, I hope we do because it will be a crime if we don't. But if we do get to see that, then we get to see more of his story. But as I said before, like Tariq still needs to understand more about like James St. Patrick and the things that he had to go through, which I'm thinking that if Tasha and Tommy like both tell Tariq like okay certain aspects of like Ghost's life to like fully understand him like oh this is what he was because here's the thing we don't only person that would actually know anything about like James St. Patrick would be also would be Kate Egan like if he if Tommy can't like tell him anything then Kate should be able to tell Tariq about some things about James St. Patrick because when Ghost lost his father like when some I guess gang members when they came and they killed his father Right. And then that's when Ghost fled and he went over to live with Tommy's for like a long time. Right. Until like his adult years. Right. Um, you know, there's still going to be like some more information regarding there. Like, OK, like what happened? But as I said before, like Tommy or Kate would have to explain these things to Tariq. Like, yeah, your father had it hard. Like there was some men that killed his dad and then he had to live with us for like a while. It wasn't like Ghost had, like, the best upbringing. He never really had the best upbringing. Like, Ghost had it more harder than Tariq. So, it's like all of these little things that Tariq is going to have to learn about his father. 
he is going to like really change his perspective on him to be like, okay, like Ghost wasn't really a bad person. It was just like in the situation that he was in, it made him to be the person that he is and made him the man that he was at the time. So it's like the struggles that he had to deal with was hard. So that's why I'm kind of like leaning back on to like in the future Tariq is going to have to understand this and see this as well. Like, again, he created a domino effect for himself. That's the whole point about the, the, the actions that he did because Ghost warned him about this, the, the things that he was going to be doing and the dangers of that future that he's trying to live because that's the thing. When it came down to, like, an original power, not saying that Ghost didn't know about any other, like, rival gangs. I'm pretty sure, like, off screen, he, he knew because... If Tommy had, like, a, a Chicago connect, right, what makes you think Ghost wouldn't have not known about other personal gains that was going on in the city? Even though they had nothing to do with with his organization and his business, but it's, it's not to say, it's not really far-fetched for him not to know that they didn't exist. So, he in his mind, he probably figured, like, well, Tariq would probably just end up in one of those gangs or whatever if something was to happen, right? He wasn't stupid. Like, he known about these things. So, it just makes you wonder, like, in the future... Tariq is going to have to really look at himself and be like, Ghost was right. When Ghost had that letter to him back in season two, he was just like, I knew you, you would end up in this jail because you ended up in this jail because you was not smart enough to um, figure out who put you in this jail, right? That was the whole point in season two. He wasn't smart enough to figure it out until when he was in jail to really fully think about it. Like, how did it happen? If he would have seen the pieces and known about certain things that maybe he could have prevented that, but he didn't. He was foolish, and he allowed certain things to be manipulated on his table and still have been manipulated on his table when we've seen, like, in season three, how things were just moving ahead, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's just, like, the little things that Tommy, if like I said before, like, Tommy, Tasha, and maybe Kate can, like, further explain to him. That's why I kind of liked how when Tasha was explaining to Tariq, where she was telling him, she was just like, no, Ghost was no fool. Like, Ghost was smart, and he knew certain things. Yeah, but you know he didn't do that shit right, Mom. No, 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 Ghost was a lot of things, but he wasn't stupid. So it's just like, it's going to have to put Tariq in a better perspective on how he's going to, like, handle certain situations in the future. Because Tariq, <laughs> Tariq is in hot water. You know, he's going to have to deal with this whole war, right? He's going to need um, peoples to, like, back him up, so... It's just like it's going to be really hard for him. So that's why I'm saying it's just like to not know about all of your information about your father. Because like when we were seeing like in this entire season of like Pablo to go season three, when you had Sebastian who compared James St. Patrick to him and he was just like, I'm not like my father. And then he stabbed the guy. Right. And then when him and Braden was arguing, they was talking. He was just like, I don't want to end up like you where you know, you don't technically have a family anymore, you know, partially is to blame us for Tariq because he did all of this and he put himself in this situation, which caused a domino effect. Because if Tariq didn't do the things that he did, then you can make a strong argument that Zeke, uh, Lorenzo Tejada, everybody kind of would have still been alive and certain aspects of the story would have been altered and changed. But uh, nonetheless, like Tariq's life would have been fine. Everybody else would have had to deal with those problems and those uh, cer certain situations, but not Tariq. Tariq would have been fine, but it was just that Tariq foolishness got him into the situation that he's in. So now that he created this domino effect that is basically a freaking storm of destruction, he is responsible for ruining people's lives, which Brayden told him. My family will never be the same. We ruin people's lives, Reek. I'm not made for it. When it was talking, he was just like, yeah, we ruined people's lives. But that situation would have never happened if he would have only followed Ghost's plans. He chose to not follow his plan. So this is exactly why it put him there. So, again, like I said before, there's still more story to Ghost that we need to, like, fully understand. And I'm kind of hoping that Tasha would be able to explain a little bit about that. Because the, the cat's out the bag. Despite both Tasha and Ghost trying to, like, protect, you know you know, like, Yaz, Tariq, and Reyna at the time for not telling them, okay, what their upbringing was, but for that to be manipulated by Kanan, it just made things more harsher for Tariq, but now that Tariq knows the truth now, well, part of the truth, he needs to fully understand why 
Ghost did the things that he did because we don't even know if Ghost ever told Tasha about like the rival gangs that killed his father because Ghost kept so much shit to himself. It's just like it did make the man like a, a mystery. It made him like, okay, who is this guy? Right? Who's this guy that opened up this nightclub? Who is he? That's what made James St. Patrick so interesting and a an intriguing character because it was how he was moving. It made him like like I said, like a mystery. A person that you, you think you can solve, but you really can't solve. So that's what I'm saying. It's just like it's the little things that Tariq is gonna have to really learn for him to like fully progress. But again, we just gonna have to like wait and see until like raising Canaan where we would probably like get more information and potentially a showing of a young James St. Patrick and his father and who was the ones that killed his father and put him in uh this situation where he had to sell drugs and he had to like um you know be taught by both Canaan and Breeze to do the things that he had to do and then eventually kill Breeze for him to fully go forward with his plans in a new direction that he was trying to do which was to have his own nightclub right and yeah just that going off from there but overall like uh drop your comments down below what do you think of the domino effect that Tariq put himself in and the fact is is that there's so much information that's missing that Tariq still doesn't know about like the things that happened with his father right um the things that he had to experience over his time and yeah so um like comment subscribe and share happy father's day y'all and i catch you all in the next one when I want you in my